Welcome to this what's new, it's actually what's old, in a sense, key updates in our learning documentation for developers. In this session, I'm going to show you new guidance documentation a lot of places for developers, for AL developers, going through things like data analytics, reporting, error handling, and so on. So action-packed agenda, let's go. The first thing is a new developer documentation overview with its own doc, um, AKA link. So uh, the new AKA link, aka.ms forward slash BC developer, takes you to this session section in, um, in the administration and dev IT pro documentation. I'll just quickly dive in there and then we'll just keep it to slides for the rest of this so that it's going to be not so long and hopefully less boring. All right, so here is the new AKA link. And if I go there, it takes me to the development part of documentation here. Um, there are a few things, at least for you to understand why we organized it like this. The first is that there is uh, things on getting started, about the development environment, VS Code and so on. Um, and then there are two very similar sections here. One is programming in the AL language, and the other one is the AL programming language. What's the difference here? Well, programming in the AL language is a list of sections that describe how to do various things. And many of these are related to the actual data types in AL, not necessarily the language constructs. The language constructs is what you find in the AL programming language. This is where we explain things like what's a method, how to do for loops or it's iterators, variables, and so on. And then there's a new kit on the block here, uh, data analytics and reporting um, and extensibility. Um, so we'll show, uh, go a little bit into, into these top level uh, topics. So the first topic, new topic, is data analytics for developers. This section is about how to think about analytics for customers, because analytics is no, no longer just write a report and give it to the customer. There are many different artifacts in analytics. It could be a query, it could be data analysis on a list or a query, it could be a Power BI report or an Excel layout, layouted report, and so on. So all these different ways to think about analytics is explained in this new part of Docs, uh, why you would use one over the other, and uh, then with links to how to actually do each of them. So go check that out if you, if you work with, with customer analytics. The second topic is reporting in general reporting. So we gave the reporting documentation a huge write through. Hopefully everything that you, that you need is covered under this developing report section. Everything you need from how to deal with reports, basically anything we know that there is to reporting in general. So um, go check that out. Um, at least know what's there so that uh, because I think you would, you would notice that a lot of the things back from seaside days has evolved a lot over the years. And in particular, word layouts also got a huge over, overhaul in documentation. So there's a new, uh, new article on everything related to document reporting with word layouts, anything on uh, from how to design data sets that works well with word, word layouts, how to lay out different things. Actually, all the questions you have had on how to do things with Word should be here. Uh, so go check this out. Uh, if, if word layouts was kind of a mystery before, I'm pretty sure that you will find uh, a lot of new useful things. And hopefully this will also help you transition from RDL uh, into a word uh, layout world. Uh, but in particular for, uh, for document reports. A huge topic uh, for stability is error handling. And uh, for error handling, we also added a new section 
with uh, everything you need to know when th reasoning over errors. And the first article here is exactly that, reasoning about errors. So think about how, how to do failure modeling, how to do robust coding. A lot of the reference articles in, in docs actually was changed with robust coding practices in mind. So they have examples of, of how to use a particular method and code robust for it. Uh, this also help, part have things on understanding uh, the error dialog, call stacks or stack traces, how to do actionable errors, how to have error, make error messages that are meaningful to the user and so on. So if you could, if you could not deflect an error situation with a good error message or error handling, troubleshooting would be the next, next thing to look into. And uh, there's a new troubleshooting uh, overview part of, of the documentation that both give you an indication or an idea of the different tools you have for troubleshooting, as well as new content on what we call TSGs or troubleshooting guides in many different areas. So go check the troubleshooting guides uh, out and also the troubleshooting tools in case you need to troubleshoot something for a customer. When thinking about performance, perceived performance is a key thing because it might be that you cannot make something go faster, make the time shorter, but maybe you can delegate that to run in the background. And that's what we mean when we talk about async processing. So there's a new overview here on the different ways to do it. Uh, you can spin off a new session, page, page background tasks, task scheduler, job queue, and so on. What's the difference between these and with links to the documentation for them? All of that is, is here in this running things in the background section. Telemetry is not only for people in the basement, it's also a tool for you as a developer. And the section for telemetry for AL developers has also gotten some love. So we added new content on describing what's the difference between this uh, scope of, of telemetry. Give more, um, we added more uh, visibility to the feature telemetry module, which is a way for you within the system application to get a lot of telemetry features for free. So go check that out. Uh, that might be new things that you didn't know about telemetry for uh, instrumenting your app. Security is not only for the admin, it's also for you as developer. You need to think security into your app as well. So we added a new section for, for how to handle security or business central security for AL developers thinking about or reasoning about the way you think in security in your development life cycle, and then going through all the topics that we think is needed for you as developer to, de de to deliver secure apps for your customers. So go check that out. Extensibility. That's not only just like a report extension and so on. We, th we thought that extensibility, uh, extensibility is, is everything that is related to, as a customer, you don't care about how things were uh, extended. So therefore we added uh, in the new extensibility overview ways to extend in AL, but also think about extensibility as a way if you extend the app by uh, making changes to the, or suggest changes to the system foundational layer, system app, or, or the, the base app. That's also a way to extend. It's just a way to extend where everyone else gets your extension. Uh, client extensions, using Power BI to extend. All of the, the, all the ways we think of, of, of how you can extend Business Central for a customer is here in the extensibility overview. Finally, um, all of these docs would, would not be here, all these changes uh, would not be there uh, if you didn't tell us about them. And you might have some expertise about a, a particular area where docs could be better. Why not simply do a pull request to that? And the way, best way I find uh, to, the way to get started is simply to search in, in docs for contribute 
that takes you to the or find uh, that that helps you find the contribute to the help article, and this uh, this takes you through how to work with GitHub, how to do a pull requests and and contribute to the documentation. So go do's for you as a developer. Uh, Learn the new AKA link, uh, aka.ms forward slash BC developer. And if you start something new, go to docs to start your learning. I'm pretty sure that it, it has the introduction level content that you need. And if in doubt, also go to docs because we do a lot of work to make sure that whenever you have a question on how things work or maybe how things doesn't work if you think about robustness. It, it should be in docs. So, so, so go to docs and see if, if it's not already covered. You can just search um, in, uh, in the learn portal. As an expert, as I mentioned, if there's something you know that isn't there, consider do a PR to help others. If all the experts in the world do that, um, we might have a, a docs that is uh, just so rich that it, uh, it helps uh, everyone. And uh, if there's something in docs completely missing where you don't have the courage to do a, a, a docs PR, let us know and uh, then we know where to improve. That's it, other relevant launch event sessions. If you are in this thinking about as, as an AI developer, high chance that you also want to look at uh, the, uh, the new, uh, what's new on uh, in Visual Studio Code and AL development. Uh, there's a, a sister, a sister presentation to this for people working with integrations. A lot of key updates to the documentation on how Business Central integrates to the world, including uh, web services. If you are more into the AL runtime parts, there's a new what's new session on AL uh, runtime and database, what's new for web service functionality and also for reporting, which in this semester we gave a lot of love to Excel layouts. As always, AKA links to learn more. If you have a question, go to Yammer, BC Yammer. Uh, BC All is the AKA link to rule them all. This is the one that takes you and shows you all the AKA links that exists for a, for a developer or a, or a partner. And BC Ideas is of course where you suggest uh, functionality changes uh, to Business Central. There are a number of social media uh, platform. We are on X and on LinkedIn. And uh, there are office hours, both live, uh, where you can attend, and uh, you can watch the recording. So go check that out if you have something where you have an interest in, in one of these recordings. That's it. Thank you so much, and have a great launch event.